Hello again, and welcome to the Interchange Book 3 video series. Today we're going to be doing Unit 9. And today we're talking about giving suggestions, different ways to give suggestions. So, let's get started. So, before we listen to the conversation and learn the grammar today, I want to look at some of the vocabulary that you're going to see today. So over here we have the verb bite, and that's to put something in your mouth and use your teeth and you bite. Nail polish, so that's what you put on your nails to make them look nice. Band-aids are these, which you put on a cut to make it feel better and to make it heal. Tune in is to listen to something, for example, the radio, if you tune in to the radio. A craving is a feeling when you really want to eat or drink something. Also for addictions, for example, cigarettes, a cigarette craving. Okay. A shopaholic is a person who shops too much and has a problem or an addiction with the shopping. Freeze. Freeze is to make something very, very cold or to become solid. Rack up. Rack up is another way to say to accumulate or to get more and more and more of something for example money debt 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 is when you are obligated to give something for example money right so with a credit card you can rack up debt you accumulate debt with credit cards okay so let's now look at our grammar this is Dr. Frida Fitzgerald. She's a licensed psychologist and she has a radio show called Fix It With Frida. In her show, people can call in and tell her about their problems and she gives them her advice. Let's listen to some examples of the calls she takes in her show. Hello caller, welcome to Fix It With Frida. What seems to be the trouble today? Hi, Doc. Yeah, well, the problem is I just can't seem to stop biting my nails. It's such an embarrassing habit. I hate it when people look at my hands. What can I do to stop? Hmm. Yeah, that is a very tough habit to break. Well, have you thought about painting your nails? Most people stop biting their nails if they have polish on them. Um, I don't think that would work for me. I'm a guy, so that might look kind of weird. You know what I mean? Right, right, my mistake. Well, what about putting band-aids on your fingers? If you can't get to your nails, eventually you'll stop trying. Band-aids, huh? Well, I guess it won't hurt to try. Thanks, Doc. Y'all have a nice day. Okay, next caller. You're on the air. Tell us what we can do for you today. Hi, Frida. Well, the problem is that I've been smoking since I was in <coughs> kindergarten, and I think it's about time I stop. Any advice? Well, congratulations on making the decision to quit. That's not an easy one. Well, first, it might be helpful to chew on some gum whenever you get the craving to smoke. Yeah, I've tried that a million times. That hasn't really worked for me. You got anything else? Well, there has been some success with addiction and hypnotism. One thing you could do is to get hypnotized to help you stop smoking. Hypnotism, huh? Hmm. I've never tried that one. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Doc. Okay, and last caller for today. Hello, and welcome to Fix It With Frida. What can I help you fix? Hi, Frida. Well, the problem is I'm a bit of a shopaholic. Once a week, I can't help but go to the mall with my credit card, and I leave with like 10 bags. I'm starting to rack up a lot of debt. What should I do? Oh, that is a serious problem. Well, if you can't stop spending money, maybe you could just cut your credit card in half. Cut it in half? I don't know. I 
mean, what if I have an emergency or something and I need to use it? Okay, well, why don't you freeze it in a block of ice? You'll have it for emergencies, but you won't have easy access to it to go shopping. Okay, well, I guess that would work. I'm gonna go put it in the freezer right now. Thanks, Rita. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for today. Those were some difficult problems, but I hope you'll use those suggestions to make a change. Tune in next time, listeners, and remember, you can always fix it with Frida. Okay, so now after watching the video and listening to the conversation, we're going to look at all the different ways that the doctor gave the different people suggestions. And so that's what we're looking at today, making suggestions in different ways. So let's start with the problem that the first person had. The first person had a problem with biting their nails, right? So the doctor gave a suggestion, and the doctor said, what about painting your nails, right? And the other suggestion was, have you thought about putting Band-Aids on your fingers? Now, let's look at these types of suggestions. Now, if we notice our main verb, for example, painting and putting, those are both in the ing gerund form of the verb. And the reason why we do that is because of the word before it, about. In both of these, we use the word about. So, one rule in English is that when we use a preposition, for example, about, or of, or on, or in, those are all prepositions, but after we use a preposition and we use a verb, we always use the ing verb, the gerund, right? So this is one way to make a suggestion. What about, or have you thought about, and then using a gerund, okay? Now, if we remember the other problem was the person who wanted to stop smoking. And the doctor gave one suggestion and said, it might be helpful to chew gum, right? It might be helpful to chew gum. And the other suggestion was, one thing you could do is to get hypnotized. So now if we look at these verbs, the main verbs, to chew and to get, we're using the infinitive form. And the infinitive is to and then the normal verb, right? And the reason why we do this is because when we use the verb be, and then we use the verb after that, the verb is almost always in the infinitive form. So here we see that here. It might be helpful to chew gum. And over here we see it. One thing you could do is to get hypnotized. So in both of these we're using the verb to be and the infinitive. Good. Now let's look at the last way that we saw to give suggestions. And that was for this woman who had a problem with shopping. She was a shopaholic. So the doctor said, well, why don't you cut your credit card in half? And the other suggestion was, maybe you could freeze your credit card in ice. So we're using the base form if we look at these verbs, cut and freeze. And remember, the base form is when you don't do anything to the verb. Right? It's not an infinitive, it's not a gerund, it's not the past tense, it's just the normal base form of the verb. So we do this for two different reasons. One is then when we use an auxiliary, for example, do or don't, right? then we always use the base form. And the other reason is when we use a modal verb. After modal verbs, again, we always use the base form of the verb. So here we notice it's a question, and it's a negative question. So it says, why don't you cut your credit card in half? So here's my auxiliary, don't. And because it's using that auxiliary, I'm always using the base form. Now here I'm saying maybe you could freeze your credit card in ice. So here I have a modal verb, could, right? So when I use the modal verb, I always have to use the base form. And when I use the auxiliary, in a question especially, I'm always using the base form of the verb. So it's important to look at those three different forms of the verb. The base form, after the auxiliary do, and after the modal verb. The infinitive, always after the verb to be. And the gerund, always after any type of preposition. 
So now you've seen a bunch of different ways, quite a few different ways of making suggestions. So I hope this was helpful and good luck with the rest of the grammar and thanks for watching guys.